Alright, hey guys, so today we'll be going through how you can install two different types of SSD onto your computer. The first one being on your desktop, first one being the NVMe M.2 type and we have ourselves a VNAND SSD 970 EVO Plus and your regular SSD drive uh, which is for mine is the 860 which are you reusing from another PC. So what we'll be doing first is having a look at our computer where we have. It's the Dell G5 model 5090. And as you can see here, I already have it opened up and that's very easy for this computer. It was basically taken off the cover by just unscrewing these from the back first and just sliding it out. Then the next thing you want to be doing is locating your NVMe M.2 drive. So that's the motherboard at the back here, as you can see. And uh, down here, we'll be installing the NVMe first, which is uh, right there. Hold on to it by a screw. So how what you want to be doing is you get yourself an in Phillips screwdriver, smaller one. And what you want to be doing is, as you can see here, you just unscrew the screw very simply. And just be careful not to drop it, otherwise you have to pick it up. So mine is out now, right there. And what you want to do at this stage is you want to just um, slowly uh, just pull this out. And I will show you how you do that. So just um, take it and just gently pull it out and you're done so as you can see this is a smaller ssd this is a 256 gig ssd and it's not good enough for me i want a 500 gig minimum so that's what i'll be replacing it by and this one the size is quite larger than that so as a result uh, we have to switch the base screw as well, right there. Um, I'll show you how you can take that out. That one requires a larger screw driver and simply just unscrew. And again, you have to be very careful not to drop it. You can just take it here. If you do drop it, you just pick it up and can do it again uh, and pick it up and carefully plug it there and same process as you took out the other one this one our new SSD goes to the same spot so we just uh, take the SSD um, just because I'm recording one hand so you have to be Bit careful, I'm gonna just switch on my left hand. That's it, easy. And you will put this in this direction. Right there. Slowly, you don't want to put too much pressure, just plug it in. And you can see it holds itself. So now what I'll do is I'm gonna screw it back on. So we have it screwing it back on, I just put the screw over there and as you can see you just tighten the screw and you're good to go. All right. And then followed by that, now we install the other SSD which is this one here. So this one has two different um, there's two different cables you need. Sometimes you can get the cables both in one, but uh, you have a power cable and a data cable. So these slots here are used for the power cable. And then these slots here are used for the data cable. Okay, so we're gonna just take out our tray. Uh, we have trays, so some PCs will have this tray. And just the enclosure. For the SSD, so we'll just simply 
slide it in here. So now we have it in the enclosure and all we're going to do is we're going to slide the enclosure back in here to eclipse and then this is our data cable so I'll show you where this connects to so this data cable I've done some cable management so it goes through back there and you've got the three SATA slots um, as observed here SATA 0, 1 and 2 and I'll point to them as well so those three there and what you want to be doing is you connect your data cable there and it comes around and in here and it goes up to this one and you just clip it on right not too much pressure and there's a power cable so here we have power cable extender but this comes from all the way around similarly the back here 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 and the power for SATA as observed there SATA power I focus on there right there it's this wire here and you plug that into our SSD up here just simply like so and then you're done so now you can for myself my um, bootable overprint system is on my NVMe M.2 anything else such as that I want to be running fast with high speeds, with read write speeds, they require high read write speeds. I put them onto the NVMe and my other storage can go on my regular SSD here, which is a bit slower but still much faster than a mechanical drive. And then I also have another empty slot. But that's how you do the upgrade and install both an NVMe M.2 and a regular SSD for your desktop PC. Thank you for listening.